uh, you emphasized it was not just about black people only, and that goes right back to what the civil rights movement was about. It was not just about black people only, and a lot of people have that misconception. Let me ask you, uh, uh, Councilman Brown, uh, on the day of, now the day of and I uh, did not give it its proper due, which is known as Bloody Sunday, going back to March 7th, 1965. I think it was March 8th uh, when you all were there last year, but it was close enough. Uh, did you see people or were people pointed out to you that may have been alive then that were walking back over that bridge 50 years later? Oh, yeah, definitely, because you had a lot of... Uh people who were being honored, some of the civil rights icons. Uh, we attended on Friday night a uh, dinner, and uh, Danny Glover acted as the uh, master of ceremonies, and uh, there were awards given out to many people, and some of them were to, one was Amelia Barton. There's a very famous picture of where she was beaten on that uh, march of the same march, the first march, where John Lewis was beaten, and she's now about 103 years old. I recall the picture, and I remember CNN did a profile on her on that Saturday prior to uh, Sunday last week. Yes, and she's still there. She attended that gala, and her son accepted it on her behalf. Also, they gave an award to Jesse Jackson and also to Dick Gregory. Uh, C.T. Vivian was there. So there are many, many people who were there, and John Lewis was there when he introduced the president on Saturday. So many of the people, and then just uh, ordinary people whose names you really don't know or see, they were honored, uh, I believe, that Saturday morning, uh, which was called a foot soldier's breakfast, which we did not attend. And our own uh, Reverend Harold Middlebrook, who was also in Selma, he was given a medal for his time there. It's almost like people serving in the military yeah. because that was a, a war. And uh, I'm thankful that uh, Wright won out. And one thing, let me say, Hubert, that was emphasized, we, we attended some panel discussions, is that we still are, the battle is not yet won, especially in terms of the Voting Rights Act. And there are people who want to try to uh, roll back uh, some of the uh, powerful things within the Voting Rights Act. And so there's a move now to try to uh, appeal to our congressmen and senators uh, 